we get ready for Agnisa in an open or comfortable position or a tight Padmasana where the knees are almost facing the front. Palms on the knees. We inhale fully. Exhaling completely, we pull our abdomen in. So we've come in an Udyan Ban. Simultaneously, we drop our head. So we've come in a chin lock. Jalandar Ban. And holding that exhalation, we've just exhaled. We do Agnisa. In which abdomen goes out in, 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 out in. Repeat this two more times. Agnisar can be done thrice. As the name suggests, Agni means fire. Sar is the abdomen to bring out the crux of. So it addresses all the organs of the abdomen, the liver, the spleen, the gallbladder, the large and small intestines, the stomach, all the way to the kidneys. There are times when I have seen a few people actually in the middle of a session, getting up to defecate after Agnisa. Years of constipation has been cured. Years of taking any laxatives at night, herbal, natural, good for you, bad for you, has been discontinued only with this amazing Kriya called Agnisa. Do not breathe when doing it. Do not do it more than thrice. On finishing, we reverse any ill effects because Agnisar has some hidden dangers, okay? So we reverse any ill effects of Agnisar with a cooling pranayam, Sheetali. Fold the tongue, bring it out as much as possible. Inhale fully. Take the tongue in. Here I'm doing a variation. You don't need to do that in a basic. Here I'm doing a variation. Exhale one third. Another one third. Exhale completely. Do this for five more rounds. And notice with intensified sensitivity that that heat which was created by Agnisar in your gut, which is your jathar, has it cooled down? Which doesn't mean that we cannot do Agnisar. We have to do it for its own benefits. I just mentioned a major one. But we can cool down after that. Just like we splash our eyes after steaming. Steaming is very good. Steam inhalations are very good for the facial skin, to the lungs, to the throat, to the nose. But then it is very heating on the eyes. So we just splash some tap water on the eyes. Same way, Agnisar is very good. But we do a few cooling pranayams after that. Exhale one third, one third, one third. So you're controlling your veloma, your breath, your exhalation. Advanced students can do one third, one third, one third. Viloma exhalations in Ujjayi also, the throat breath.
Shitali Pranayam has innumerable benefits. It's excellent for those who have a lot of heat in their body. Body temperature should not be too high. For those who have a fire in their stomach, for those who are prone to getting a lot of acidity regularly, pimples, acne, excessive hair fall, alopecia, which is bald patches in the head. No one has been able to cure alopecia. And I see alopecia very often in people. I'm able to help completely with a therapy to reverse alopecia. Discontinue the practice after the last viloma and hold your elbows behind you. Hold your elbows behind you. So I'm in a Padmasan lotus pose and I've held my elbows behind me and twist completely to the right. Turn your head over the left shoulder blade to do abdominal bhastrika. Inhale fully, inflate the abdomen. Exhale completely, pull it in. This may tire you a bit, but that's the intention. Other side. Come back. Hold your elbows behind again. Now go to your right, go down, come up from your left, go to your left, come down, come up from your right. When you go down towards the gravitational pull, do a bhastrika exhale. When you come up from the gravitational pull, do a bhastrika inhale. Here I'm proving both the rules of breathing. Every time you go towards the gravitational pull, you exhale. Every time you come away from the gravitational pull, you inhale. Every time you move away from the center, you exhale. Every time you come towards the center, you inhale. 84 lakh postures, Choryasi lakh posture in yoga, Choryasi lakh yogasan. And only two big secret I have told you today. Big secret. Pura Artha Shastra. Only two ways of breathing. Don't move the head at all. This is about your trunk. I'm not moving my head at all. I'm not straining my neck at all. Inhale when you come up. Exhale, semicircle down. Inhale, semicircle up. Exhale, semicircle down. You can pick up speed if you wish. Pura churning kalle. Pura. Discontinue the practice without taking a pause. Continue Bhastrika in diagonals. Interlock fingers at the nape of your neck. Interlace them well. Get your posture right first. Definitely a Padmasana. 
a lotus pose. Interlock fingers. Now, inhale fully, giving yourself a push, a momentum. Push the elbow out. Elbow to knee. You're proving the first law of breathing. Every time you're going down towards the gravitational pull, you're inhaling. Every time you're coming up from the gravitational pull, away. So you need more power. So you inhale. Every time you go down, you exhale. Exhale. Take in more. You have to last till your elbow goes to the knee in your exhale. So take in more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Other side now. You've noticed that from the first one of elbow to knee touch in the last you got better. You twisted well. You gave yourself more momentum. You lowered yourself more. You got your elbow closer to the knee. Friends, we all have so many pain points. Acidity, flatulence, constipation, depression, panic attacks. Each one of us. My one-to-ones come up with a new one, new names given by doctors, new names given by allopaths, Ayurveda, homeopaths, naturopaths. I'm here trying my very best, my very best, the bestest, to give you as much as possible to ease those pain points. Some of us have been lucky enough to get rid of those pain points. Some of us are still working on them. But all I need for you to keep me continuously pouring with all this. Your choice. But combine all four. Get ready to end your personal pranayam. And also end the session in your own personal way. I'll give you clues. A round of palming, capping them on closed eyes. Or a full inhale and exhale with a hug. Or awareness in the distances around of sounds in the house. Or watching your own antarmon, that's inner silence. Slowly open your eyes. To rise and be ready for the day for those who are in the eastern side of the globe. And to have a good sleep for those who are in the United States. Thank you all. Hari Om Tatsat.